Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. I don't know about you guys, when you go home, um, like unless I come home and take a vacation, like leave, there's really no slowing down. So I'm off again. It's Saturday. I gotta pay bills. Um, I gotta get my nails done. They've been taking a beating. What else? Um, oh, Jake goes to see the vet today. So, but I got him some new supplies, so you'll see that today. Gosh, could the dog be any cuter? Could Jakey get any cuter? Uh, what else? I don't know, we'll see what the day brings. Chris went by on his way to uh, the shop to start my truck and he called me and it started right off. That's good news because um, it's not plugged in and it's not parked at the house. So we literally have to go to the location to start it and review it and look it over and all that good stuff. Now, just because it started doesn't mean that there couldn't potentially be frozen brakes or stuff like that, but I'm just glad that it started. So follow me along today. Um, we got some things to show you. All right, bye. In the bank drive-through paying the mortgage. Then nails up, up next and then let's find my favorite drink so I can take some on the road. You guys, I just had the most hilarious thing happen to me. Well, I say hilarious because I think it's funny and it's never happened to me before. So I go to make my uh, payment for the mortgage and the lady gets back on the intercom in the drive through and says, your deposit is shortage because of Canadian currency. What? I said, what do you mean? She goes, it's short because we can't accept Canadian currency. And I said, what, the 25 cents? And she goes, no, a penny. Ser a penny. So she returned the Canadian penny. And was I was so I was short a penny on my deposit. Has that ever happened to you? Nuts, I say. Nuts. So I'm sure you've heard of Prime's trifecta. That's if you pass all three of your tests to get your license in the same day. Well, I have my own little personal trifecta here, and we're gonna see how this pays off. See, if you look behind me in this little shopping center, I have a caribou coffee. One of a great find. And then if we look over, oh, we have a GNC. And finally, but not at the very least, is my nail place. Oh. Check out the flavors, guys. I hit the jackpot. A case here at GNC is what? 12 cans, 25 bucks. 25 and some change. This girl stocking up. All right, back in the car. Oh my gosh, caribou coffee. I just I mean, imagine if there was two hands together and that would be a heart around that. Oh, I love you guys. I miss you so much. I don't think Starbucks has anything on you. Definitely way to go. And who doesn't like that cute straw? You know what? You give me a cute straw and I'll drink about anything. So, picked up five cases of Bang. The only keto coffee that, um, in a case that they had was hazelnut. And I've been told to stay clear of that. I'm not a big hazelnut flavor girl. So, I wasn't really interested in that. I got about nine Eight or nine cans of the cookies and cream um, coffee that I've tried once before. So, um, and then somebody recommended that I get some colloidal silver, coital. Yeah, I probably am saying that wrong. But, um, so that when I start to feel um, sick or something like that I can take that so I bought the liquid form of that I don't even know if there's pill forms but they only had liquid at GNC oh it's right here um that 
and I think this was around, you know what, I don't even know how much it was, I'm not even going to say, I don't know if it was 20 bucks or 13 um, but anyway, I got that just to have it on the truck, and um, yeah, so I'm still going to look for the other keto coffees, I'm going to, um, you know, it's only Saturday, I leave Tuesday, Oh, even though every day is jam-packed. But I'm going to try to get over to, like, Hy-Vee and see if they have Bang and um, Vitamin World. So, but I bought five cases. <laughs> what are you laughing at? This girl needs her Bang. This girl likes her... I'm going to leave that alone. Because I'm going to just serve that up on a silver platter to somebody and they're going to comment. So, I like my drink. What can I say? All right. The nail place can't get me in until 4. Ain't nobody got time for that. I got to take Jake to the doctor. So, I got to see if I can get in somewhere now. So, now I'm on the hunt for somebody to get my nails done. And I know it's the weekend. Everybody goes and gets their nails done on the weekend. But I gotta make it happen. Let's ride. I feel normal again. Nothing like not having your nails done and feeling like every person is looking at them. I'm probably my biggest critic, but hey, if I notice crappy nails, I know others are. So, off to get Jake to go to the vet. Ho oh, ho. Look at his new supplies. Come on. Head west toward Monroe Street Northeast. Kiki! Jiki! Jeez. Oh, you guys. That was a workout. I had to put a muzzle on Jake. Um, we got him, we got him microchipped. He got his rabies shot, um, dewormer. Yeah, so he's good. He's all caught up. He's, uh, 50 pounds. So anything under 60 for Pitbull is, is healthy. Um, we'll see what the raw diet does for him. But Jakey, Jake, Jake, hey, hey. I think he's kind of mad at me. I had to hold him. So we're just waiting for the results to come back from his test, his blood test. So um, we're just hanging out over here in the corner.